Errol Spence employed a simple strategy against Mikey Garcia that was bound to work from the very outset of the fight. Spence would position himself at maximum jabbing distance and shoot a stiff jab at the lead hand of Mikey Garcia. Now I usually don't like to talk about physical attributes in my videos because the tactical and technical aspects of boxing are far more interesting to me. But the fact that Errol Spence has a significant height and reach advantage over Mikey Garcia plays an important part of the strategy because by shooting the jab at the lead hand, Mikey Garcia can't possibly counter these jabs because if Spence is out of his own range, then Garcia is even further from his range. Notice how he's shooting the stiff jab to the lead hand instead of Mikey Garcia's head. And another imp very important detail to take note of is that even though Spence was shooting his stiff jab at Garcia's lead hand instead of seeking clean shots to the head, it was evident that he was doing this on purpose because of instead of seeking to attack from angles, he would jab with his lead foot positioned right in front of Garcia's lead foot instead of being on the outside or on the inside of Garcia's lead foot. And this means neither guy has a positional advantage. But why wouldn't Spence seek advantageous angles so he could actually land his jabs? It's quite simple, if he attacks from an angle and aims for the head, that gives Garcia a chance to counter due to Spence stepping into range. Remember, Spence has a significant height and reach advantage over Garcia. If Spence stays outside of his own range and racks up points, shooting jabs to the lead hand, then Garcia won't ever have a chance to get a counter off. Now I've made this pick to further explain my point here. In the Southpaw vs. Orthodox matchup, the lead foot and lead hand line up with one another and in each other's way. The point is that with Spence placing his lead foot right in front of Garcia's lead foot, his lead hand will also always be in the way of Garcia's lead hand. And this along with the long distance that he's standing from expertly neutralizes Garcia's best weapon, which is his jab because it's simply too far away to hit him. Now that's not to say that Spence doesn't know how to attack from angles. The true genius of this game plan is the timing of these jabs. Spence would use these jabs to the lead hand not only to rack up points, but to also disrupt Garcia when he sees Garcia trying to build a rhythm, forcing Garcia to reset. This further prevents Garcia from getting his offense going. And once Spence forced Garcia to reset, he would then step into range at an angle and look to land these clean shots. And this is the true genius of this game plan. You know, a simple setback with a jab would offset a lot of his rhythm that he does and it'll offset his rhythm and make him start all over. You know, a, a simple setback with a jab would offset a lot of his rhythm that he does and it'll offset his rhythm and make him start all over. He executed his game plan, he kept that distance using that jab. Get on the inside, he just boxed right outside with the jab and kept me at, at a distance that obviously didn't suit me, it suited him very well. And just some closing thoughts before I end the video. A lot of people have been complaining about Mikey Garcia not throwing enough punches or taking a chance to win the fight. Even the commentators were constantly wondering why Garcia wasn't taking any chances. And well, the reason why was staring them right in the face for 36 minutes. Spence would stay out of range and disrupt Garcia's rhythm with the jab. And Garcia was trying to mount an offense. He was trying all night, but he was met with a stiff jab to his lead hand every time he tried to get going. And Garcia couldn't even counter these jabs because Spence would shoot these jabs from way outside of range. And what's even more mind boggling to me is that Spence does this to every single orthodox fighter he faces. It was expected that he would do the same exact strategy against Garcia. And it was also expected that it would work. 
Mikey Garcia is an excellent boxer, but again, with the physical attributes, his moving up two weight classes to fight someone just as good, if not better, than him to begin with. Mikey Garcia is not an explosive Mike Tyson-esque inside fighter who could tuck a bigger man into bed with one touch. He's not a lightning fast volume fighter who could outpoint Spence with Manny Pacquiao-esque flurries. Mikey Garcia, he might have seen something against Spence, but he simply isn't the person to pull it off. This fight was a physical and tactical mismatch from the beginning. Now you may remember that this was the same exact strategy Floyd Mayweather utilized against Manny Pacquiao. A lot of people complained about that fight being boring, just like everyone was saying this fight was boring. Well, we saw almost the exact same fight play out. And if you want to learn how to control distance in the Southpaw versus Orthodox matchup, this is an excellent strategy to learn. As always, if you like my content and want to see more, please click the red button to subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.